Hey, what's happening, homie? This is T.I.P. K. Dad, I first started rhyming when I was 13. And when I said I want to sit down and I want to perfect my craft, I really went after studying all the greats. Biggie, Tupac, Jay-Z, Nas. You know what I mean? Just to better my lyrical skills because I felt that was the best, you know what I mean, in my time period all over the world. I'm sure everybody else feel like it. So it was just me basically developing myself. I mean, when people heard K-Dot, they was like, yo, the kid is dope. He can rap, but who is he? You know what I mean? That went on for years. He's just another cat in the streets that can rap good, right? So I was like, you know what? I want people to know who I am as a person and what I represent. So I woke up one morning and I said, the best way to start it off is giving me my name change, my real name. Some of my mother been calling me for years, and this is who I am, and I'm gonna start putting that on records, you know what I mean? And this the shit transcended where I'm putting it on records and it's representing me and people accept it, you know what I mean? Because they can relate. And that was just the mind state. I felt like, what's a, what's a, what is an artist, you know what I mean, if you don't know who they are? The biggest people you felt like you can relate to their story, like the Tupac, Biggie, you know what I mean, Nas, nice, Jake, you know what I mean? So I just basically want to pattern myself after that and step up to the next level and mature, you know? Living my life like I'm living right in the midst of a fire pit The game banging in violence, it's the sweetest song And I roam with the heart of a violin Don't violate my patience, I'm waiting to kill a man As I stare at the ceiling fan, as a fan of these wicked streets If I gotta eat, I steal like a metal piece I'm screaming out, fuck the police I'm dealing my cards with jokers on them You could disown them or stone them I'm throwing them rock back with a fury of bullets You couldn't live your life for the moment When I'm foaming at the mouth and my sharpest the teeth showing Hey, it was one of your freestyles. You talk about being a good kid growing up in a mad city. Yeah, good kid in the mad city, that's something that I represent. That's something that I represent for the whole city of Compton. I feel that we all good kids in a mad city. You know what I mean? It's just the circumstance that's around us turns us into this, the, the evils that the world, I mean, puts upon the, the adolescents that's growing up in the city, whether it's uh, gang violence, of course, whether it's uh, police brutality, whether it's drugs, whether it's women. You know what I mean? It all stems from being a kid and it's just the shit you exposed to, you know what I mean? I was exposed to it too, but I was fortunate enough to have a, a active pops in my life, you know what I mean? To, to show me the stepping stones and show me what's right and wrong, you know what I mean? Most of the friends I grew up with didn't have no pops, you know what I mean? If they did, they weren't active, you know? So, I was real fortunate, I mean, he, he went through all that shit before and out of respect, I transcended my lifestyle and patterned it after his. Not after his, but, you know what I mean, got in the right way he wanted me to do, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I got into my ignorant shit, everybody did, but at the end of the day, I stayed in progress of what was right, you know what I mean? We used to beefing over turf, fuck beefing over verse. Niggas dying, motherfucker, double entendre. And this is comp done. Lions in the land of the triumphs. Raps ran, our defiance, ban our alliance. Put burners in the hands of the black man. One hood with 24 foes like a clone Kobe Bryant. You probably heard I wanna be heard and wonder who I am. You probably even listen to faith and think I know Zion. But really, I'm just caught in the loop of understanding the truth. Because it seemed like it's always clashing with science. I got a big fear of flying. My future's so bright, I probably go blind before. Before I blink twice, I ain't lying. I swear to God, half of y'all just don't know Kendrick. The school of hard knocks, we was the first ones in attendance. And on another freestyle, you say you can't be game, uh, you can't be easy. Do you feel that uh, because you're from Compton, people try to put you in a box? Yeah, they do. Because Compton has, uh, I mean, it's dope that we started the gangster rap. But I feel that it's, it's way more versatility out here than what people have heard over the years, you know what I mean? I don't want people to put me in a box and just gangsta rap, it's just a hardcore boom boom. I got that in me, you know what I mean? Of course, I'm from the city, born and raised. It's what I've been around, you know what I mean? What I've been here for years, but it's the next level I think we can go to when people can start seeing. I think I can do that, you know? I mean, I think for me, well, Nick, Nick also, I, mean, I grew up in the days of like, when Compton was NWA, yeah. you know Dre back in his heyday, yeah, exactly. um, that generation of, of hip hop and that that kind of music coming right. from that city. Exactly. Describe what, what Compton's like now. You mentioned earlier it's it's kind of like a, like a little bit of a rebel mentality. Is it? Give us a a, a picture of what Compton is now. If you're a, a youth or a teenager or like a young adult growing up, and how it may be different from that generation in that time. I would say Compton now is. As far as the gang culture, 
it's way way more more of a of a how can I say this I want to say trend I would say something that's in you to do to be a part of a gang super heavy I mean I think it's worse because back then you being a, a mind state of a 16 year old and you get into the mentality of being from your, your hood or your block right 16 but now I got little cousins that's nine years old that's that's ragging or flagging you know what I'm saying where it's really fucking it up even more because ain't nobody schooling the youth no more you know what I mean because all the cousins, all the older cousins, they locked up now. Of course, the pops is gone, but now the cousins is gone. You know what I mean? At a young, tender age. So, it's really getting to a real, a real, real sad point. You know what I mean? But we still we still have our, our, our fun moments where we have our, our, our youth centers and all that, which is some positive shit to help the city, but it needs to be more. You know? And that's the type of shit that people don't understand. This is bigger than music for me. You know what I mean? I done seen the city. I done had uncles pass and cousins pass in the city. You know what I mean? I'm trying to take it to the next level where motherfuckers can at least embrace each other and not sweat over the motherfucking colors. Because at the end of the day, we're just fucking up ourselves anyway. You know what I mean? It's too much motherfucking pain. I done went through too much motherfucking pain losing people to even keep glorifying that shit. You know what I mean? I mean, that element is always in me, but at the end of the day, we all know it ain't right. Do you think that with the music that you make and, and some other artists that it's a lot easier to um to kind of open up and express yourself in terms of like talking about the pain or like talking about things that back in the day it was all about glorifying certain things or right. like having that 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 mentality of like you know like you're invincible right uh, it seems nowadays younger artists kind of feel more able to to talk about some real shit that everyone experiences and like the, the actual feelings which is kind of like a you know in hip hop for so long that wasn't it was kind of like Full pop. Right. So do you think that's a little bit more of a, a lane that artists have now? It is an option when it comes to their music and creating their music? Yeah, it is. It is an option, but we all got to go back to when Tupac was doing it. You know what I mean? That's who really started this shit, and we lost that shit. When he passed, it was, everything got jiggy. That's when I started writing because I started writing because DMX first album, when he came out, because it was a void that was missing. I need to hear some real shit that motherfuckers that I can relate to. That we've been around our whole lives, you know what I mean? So, I think it just it, it just got back to that element of the game where people want to hear the real stuff they can relate to, you know what I mean? So, it's definitely a must. I wouldn't mind hearing, uh, not everybody can do it, but the few that can keep pushing that shit out, you know what I mean? So, it's love. One of my favorite tracks is uh, HOC. I've actually never smoked weed before in my life, so uh, and I've been in the industry for ten years, so I've definitely been in many of the studios, crazy. And interviews, and I, I never really I smoked weed a few times, but I never really got the high that everybody always talked about. I always thought something was wrong with me. You know what I mean? Like I'm tripping, like fuck, why am I not high? You know what I mean? But uh, shit, it was just it's just something that didn't that didn't really uh stimulate my mind like that. I don't know. I ask motherfuckers, do it stimulate their minds as much, you know what I mean, y'all talk about it or am I tripping? And it just never did, so I just never had the thrill to do it. I mean, to each his own though. All my homies smoke weed, I'm always high off contact some type of way, so that's what the song, song stands for, so it's all good. I get a lot from, from people who do smoke, you also have that line about taking you to the next level. It's like, oh man, you're a dope editor, but if you yeah. smoke weed, you'd be on that other level. If you did this, you'd be on that other level. Do you feel like, do, do you feel like it, it keeps you back from, from reaching uh, some kind of level? Do people tell you that? The homies tell me that all day, you know what I mean? We've been friends on, shout out to High Power. Them niggas that literally try to put blunts in my mouth and shit like, yo, you smoke this, you'll probably be thinking like a motherfucking alien on steroids. You're already crazy with it now, but I don't know. I don't think it would. You know, I think it's a mind thing. You know what I mean? I'll probably hit that motherfucker and probably do think I'm on some other wild crazy shit. Who knows? But I don't know. Interesting, you know, because this is a gangster story, but a gangster with a difference because this is a gangster with a conscience. Shout out to everybody just supporting the whole movement, you know what I mean? Top Dog Entertainment, High Powers, the crew, all the people, man. It's just good music. J. Cole, Wale, Kid Cudi, Ross, everybody that's supporting real music, you know what I mean? I'm all for it. The whole L.A. circuit that's finna crash through the motherfucking market. Dom Kennedy, Lady G, Bad Luck, Problem, Mike Stroh, Black Kippy, 
You know what I mean? That's my crew. Schoolboy Q Wap Soul J Rock. We out here. Much respect. To listen to Game of Life and easy the cards I've been dealt Give you the real deal, live footage that you can feel for yourself It's uncut and raw, get over water since before The new world is in order, embedded in places You dreaded and never thought of the corners The streets of projects, the one bedroom apartments, the hood I'm the voice for all of y'all misunderstood It's because I'm hip-hop, maybe I was born from the struggle Hustle and hover above the earth, observe the concrete jungle And expose all lies will be televised For the block, it's all lies will be televised Revolution of the mind It will be It will be It will be Giving nothing but truth.